Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be taking a quick look at how we can create a simple XP and leveling system within our RPG game. Now this system is going to be really simple and really easy to implement and the way that it's going to work is when you kill one of these enemies it is going to give your player some experience and when the experience gets to the maximum amount required for that level to level up is going to level up our you know character for us and that's all going to be displayed on the screen at the bottom middle part of my you know viewport or my game rather you can see I've got the action bar and we've already set up the visual elements for that and also in my top left hand corner you can also see I've got the level text as well and that's pretty much what we're going to be updating and making sure that all of this works so first things first what I'm going to do is I am going to open up my third person game mode and within here this is actually where I'm going to store the experience and the levels and all the good you know variables that we need for this system now I could just do it in each one of the you know character blueprints the sword character and the magic character however then if we do it that way we've got to create this leveling and experience system twice and it's just not that great now if you guys want to have individual experience and levels for each one of these characters then you you know you would have to build it twice but for now for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to contain all of it within my third person game mode so whichever character you use is going to give you your old level and your old experience back so within my third person game mode you want to create three variables the first one is simply called experience the second one is called max experience and then the third one is going to be called level. Now, because these are going to be number values, I need to change all of these variable types from integers, uh, sorry, from booleans to integers. So just make sure you go through all of those and do that. And once you've done that, just compile it to it updates and allows you to change the default value. Default value for the experience should be zero because, you know, they haven't killed anything yet. And then the max experience, this is essentially going to be how much experience the player needs to gain to progress through to the next level. Now my default amount for this, I'm going to set to 5. So they need to essentially kill 5 enemies to get through the first level. And the level itself, the default value is going to be 1 because the player generally won't start on you know level 0. I mean it's entirely up to you, you can set it to 1, you can set it to 0. All you've got to do is just change this. It's not really going to affect anything in terms of logic. So, now that we've done this, I need to quickly tie some of the values within my heads up displays to those, you know, variables that I've just created. So, I'm going to start off by opening up my melee HUD. And then within here, I'm going to quickly select my progress bar for my experience. And then I'm going to create a binding. And within this binding, I am just going to cast to the third person game mode. And then as the third person game mode, I am going to get max experience. And I'm also going to get experience. And then with these, I am going to put my experience at the top. And I'm going to convert these to floats so that they actually work with our progress bar. So type in two floats and this will convert it for you. Just do the same thing on both of these. And then with this, just do float divided by float. And if you divide experience by max experience, it will give you a, your, you know, your progress through the level going from zero to one. And if we just hook this up to the return value, that is just going to work. And then for objects, just type in get player character over here, and then we are good. Now, not get player character, sorry, get game mode, and then compile this, and we should be good. If I press play now, select my sword character, you should see that we now have zero experience, the de default value, because we haven't killed anything, so that is all good open up our melee HUD again, go to our level in the top left hand corner, create a binding for that level, 
you know, in the text, in the content. Once again, cast to the third person game mode. And as the third person game mode, simply get your level and hook it up to the return value just like this. Now, because I want it to look good in terms of design, I always want it to have two digits in here. So say zero, one instead of just one. So I'm just gonna set my minimum integral digits to two. Object wildcard, simply set this to get uh, game mode and hook this up straight into there. And now if we press play, open up our sword character, level in the top left is zero, one. And my action bar, uh, for, well not my action bar, but my experience bar is empty. We are all good there. I'm not going to worry about this piece of text that I've got in the bottom of my heads up display for now. I'm just going to leave that there. Now what I need to do is to tell the engine to give the player some experience when it kills one of these enemies. Because at the moment it doesn't do anything, the values mean absolutely nothing because they will never change. So we are going to be doing this within our simple AI. Now what we're going to do is quickly find our death sequence that we use in a couple of places. So at the top we've got it for our magic projectile. We are just going to go up to the end of here and one thing I want to do is just reorder my destroy actor and my death so it looks a bit like this. And the reason why I'm doing that is just to ensure that it's going to run this sequence of script within my def function before it destroys the actor and cuts itself off. And then just go ahead and do and make sure it's the same thing over here as well for our, you know, sword collision stuff. And that's fine. So anyway, open up our def function that we created earlier. And then within here, we've got to do a few things. First things first, I'm going to break the link to destroy actor because that doesn't need to be, you know, until right at the very end. So we've killed the enemy. Now we've got to think about what we're going to do in terms of experience and level. And the way I see it being the easiest way to be done is to simply give the player, you know, plus one experience. And then after that, run a check to see whether or not the player's experience has gone over or equal to the amount of experience they need to level up and if it has then increase the level by one set the max experience to you know double or however you know however much harder you're making it and also to set the experience back down to zero as well so let's go ahead and do this so from here we are going to cast to the third person game mode so we can get access to those variables object wildcard is get game mode and then as third person game mode, set experience. And then with this experience, just set it to integer plus integer, and then get the current value that we've got already and simply just add one to it. From here, we're gonna run a check. And with this check, we are just going to check to see whether or not um, integer, is greater than or equal to and the first value should be experience the second value should be max experience and just hook it up just like this so what we wanted to do now then is if they haven't got enough to level up do nothing and go straight to destroy actor however if they do we need to tell it to change the level to plus one so drag as third person game mode type in set level and then with this just do integer plus integer to start with and just hook this up here get the original value for level and then just hook this into the top so what it's doing essentially is you know it's checking you know it's just adding one to the level one to the original value and then what we also need to do now then is set experience to zero to you know put you to the start of this new level that we've just created and also we need to set max experience and we just need to do you know make it a little bit harder than last time so what i'm going to do is integer times integer and this is where you sort of set your exponential difficulty increase so set max experience to 
get max experience, get the original value, and then from here you can define how much harder it get it gets each level. So if you want to make it double each time, set this to two. If you want to make it, you know, get 50% harder each time, set this to 1.5. Well, I mean you can't do you know decimal values because this is an integer but you know you should sort of get the gist I'm just gonna make this twice as hard each time you go through this and then after this I'm just gonna hook up this to my destroy actor and then your code should look a little bit something like this and hopefully if I compile this now press play open up my sword character and kill a couple of enemies we should start to see our experience bar go up and you can see it's doing that and each time I kill one of these enemies it's just going up and up and up. Now the only trouble I've got at the moment is I don't have enough enemies to level up so I'm going to add a couple more of these into our scene. One, two, three, four, five. That's definitely enough. Open up our sword character again and then this time I'm just going to keep hitting keep hitting until I have leveled up essentially so let's hit these a couple more times you can see we're getting close to leveling up now shouldn't take too much longer and a couple more and this one should level us up and you can see it has done top left hand corner it says the level is now 2 and the XP has reset back down to 0 and we essentially need to go through this level again and now after I've killed another enemy you can see it's given us a smaller percentage on our experience bar so from this we can now tell our experience and our leveling system is all good to go and it all works. So that's pretty much everything for my XP and leveling. What I will do however is I'm going to quickly open up my other heads up display for the magic character and I'm going to quickly set up these bindings so that no matter what character you're using your XP and leveling system is going to work. So progress, percentage, create a binding and then with this cast to the third person game mode as third person game mode get experience also get max experience and then just to a float copy and paste this so it's on both of these and then just do integer sorry not integer float minus float and just divide experience by max experience and hook this up just like that object wildcard get game mode and then just compile that and you're good so that's the experience bar done here don't forget my text at the bottom here go to my content text and create a binding and then for this cast to third person game mode and then as third person game mode get level hook it up to the return value and just set the minimum integral digits to two object wildcard get game mode and then compile this and hopefully if I open up my magic character as well you can see my level has gone to one my experience bar has gone back to zero and if I then proceed to damage one of my enemies just keep shooting at it essentially you should see that we get a little bit of experience from it so I'm just gonna keep going keep going and I haven't got enough mana but either way I know 100% that this is going to work, but the most important thing is that we now have the beginnings to our XP and leveling system. Now there's still a bunch of stuff that we do need to do to this, including setting up a save game system for our XP and leveling, so even if you close the game, you don't lose your progress going through the levels and all of that good stuff. Anyway guys, that is pretty much everything for today's video. Once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.